Hi, this is Catherine reporting for Kids First. And today we are interviewing Owen Vaccaro and Anthony Patelis from the upcoming film, Team Marco. Owen Vaccaro is from Atlanta, Georgia and has been acting since the age of seven. He has been in several movies already in his young career and plays the role of Marco. And the Patelis is an actor, director, and plays Nono, the grandpa. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you. All right, so uh, this is for both of you. I want to start out with the most obvious and probably most common question. Who is the better bocce ball player? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Anthony on this one because I've never even played before I started the movie. Well, I'm gonna have to go with Owen because <laughs> uh, he, I think he ends up beating me uh, in, in one of the games, so. I, I'd say it, it's Owen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, are either of you still playing bocce ball, just as a follow-up? I play a little bit with my brother. You know, he's actually gotten, like, super, super, super good. And he's been, like, beating me on every single game. We play on the turf in my backyard out there. But, I mean, I still play sometimes. I've lost my complete ability. Like, I was able to play on Team Marco. But I still play. Yeah, bocce ball is... able to play. Uh, I haven't been able to play since the, since the film ended, but I look forward to because I, I have this awesome red bocce ball that Owen Vaccaro uh, gave me as a gift at the, on the last day of shooting. Oh, that's awesome. That's so Isn't awesome. that great? Yeah. Bocce ball is really fun. I feel like I've only played it like a couple times, like once or twice, but it was still really fun. And so, uh, Anthony, how much fun did you have playing this role? Uh, you were a, a parental, you were cranky, you were a neighborhood pal, and you really seemed to enjoy playing this character. So where did you get your inspiration for this character? I think from my own grandfather and grandfathers. Both of them were kind of, uh, had a lot uh, of similarities to Nono. Uh, they were both from the old country and didn't speak much English and, uh, and they, they were, you know, conservative and, and a little cranky as well. <laughs> They're <laughs> dinner. And, uh, so that's, that's who I kind of borrowed my, my character from. That's so great how you can relate to all of like these people in your lives and then just take from that and then make your character even more, you know, authentic and really you. And so, oh, and in real life, do you ever find yourself addicted to electronics as your character, Marco? Yes, 100%. <laughs> um, yeah, like just before this, I was watching TV and getting homework done. So yeah, 100%, I definitely relate with my character in that <laughs> sense. And so what's your favorite video game? Okay, it's on the Nintendo Switch. It's called Animal Crossing. It's super fun. I love Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh my God, me too. <laughs> So fun, and so um, you again. It you've played a lot of in a, you've played in a lot of different movies already in your career. And so, what was unique about this character, and what were some of the special moments from this movie that you'll always remember? I think what's uh, unique about this character, it just felt like so so real. It's, I mean, at least to me, because I can relate to this character in some way, and I'm sure a bunch of other uh, other people can. But and what, what was the second part of the question? Oh, just like, uh, like what was unique about this character? And then what were some special moments that you'll always remember? I think, uh, uh, oh, special moments. Um, I think one, especially from the set, the dinner scene, that's a special moment that I will always remember because we were all screaming at each other for the scene and we were all laughing in between them. So many moments <laughs> from that scene, it was great. Yeah, it's always hard to keep your, it, well, what I found is just, it's always hard to keep your cool or just your, I guess your character when you're screaming and yelling at each other because it's, it's supposed to sound kind of threatening, but also you're just kind of dying laughing. You know, it happens. <laughs> and oh, no. then, yeah, and so Anthony, what are the, what key messages do you think uh, Julio Vincent Gambudo, I think that's how you say his name, <laughs> Uh, was trying to deliver in Team Marco, uh, and what did he, uh, what did, ah, what did you do, or what did he do to help motivate you and the entire cast to deliver some of those messages? I think that his big message was to put down your devices uh, 
at when you're with your family and enjoy the company of, of, of your family and your friends, um, you know, without that distraction. Um, you know, we'll, we, we will always have uh, games and, and, and uh, you know, apps to play with, you know, on our phones, but we will not always have our family there, you know, especially older members, you know, that's, that's the cycle of life. Uh, so I think that's his, that's his message is to, was to um, connect, to connect with the human spirit. And I think he did a really good job in writing it. And the, one of the things that I really enjoyed about it was that he did it without judging characters. You know, he didn't really, he didn't place big judgment on anybody. He's presenting each character and their point of view, and he's going to leave the audience uh, for themselves to decide how they feel about it. Yeah, it's really great how, you know, you can take all this away. It's not like really, I mean, it, it's just helping you almost feel closer to your own family, which is nice. Like, you know, you always want to be present and everything. And it kind of helps you with that and helps you remind yourself to, you know, not go on your phone or your iPad or whatever it is, or, you know, and, uh, oh, and so if you got to be a screenwriter for a deleted scene that was shown at the end of the movie after the credits about the Machi Ball tournament, who won and who had the winning role? Um, oh, I think Skylar, who's one of the characters on my team, definitely <laughs> won. You know, she was actually really good at it uh, when we were practicing. I remember she, her especially, she was great at it. And the rest of the team, we all kind of learned from her, good believe it or not. Good. Yeah, that's fun. So uh, go to Marco. <laughs> and then, uh, so Anthony, there were several funny scenes in the movie. And was there one in particular that took several takes or did you improv and stayed, uh, and it stayed in the movie? Yeah, um, the, uh, the Alexa, uh, where, when Marco was teaching Nono how to uh, communicate with, with the Alexa device, uh, that was that was about eighty percent um, improvisational. Yeah, that, that's true. And we had a good time with that. Um, and I think my favorite scripted scene was when I take all the devices away from Marco and lock them in a lockbox and 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 uh, have at it with 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 Marco that way. Yeah. Well, I found I really found that. Uh, Sometimes improv can be a lot funnier. Sometimes just something that's a little more natural, but I got quite a few laughs out of the Alexa scene. Good. Yeah. And so for both of you, uh, what do you like most about doing virtu the virtual press junkets uh, that surprised you or that was unexpected? I think it's nice that I'm at my house and that I don't have to, because a lot of the, for the other virtual press junkets that I've had to do, you have to get up super like at the crack of dawn. And then sometimes you'll be working for like nine hours on them. But when you're at your house, it feels so much more comfortable. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I mean, you know, it, it's really nice to be able to ready at your leisure and, uh, and just go from your, you know, bedroom to your living room. And here we are. Yeah, I found that that way for e-learning in general, because like you get to, you don't have to wake up as early you can stay in your PJs and nobody notices because they're all in their PJs. So that's pretty great. And um, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. And thank you. Yeah, Team Marco comes out November 20th, 2020 on cable, on demand, or sale and rent on all digital movie platforms. So be sure to watch it. This is Catherine reporting for Kids First. Please be sure to like, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to watch our next interview or review or those of my terrific teammates. Bye for now. Who are these kids? This is my bocce team. Let's bury them.